Hello guys, Dr. Open is here and in this video I'm gonna show you a great build for fame farming in solo dungeons, in open world, in Nightfall Abbey, in Road of Avalon and it has great damage and sustainability. But before that, please do not forget to leave a like, subscribe and participate in our giveaway. As you can see, I just showed you the amount of fame and silver I started with. This strategy to kill your mobs and camps is simple. The only thing you should know about is if someone is clearing side to side with you or maybe you saw so many camps empty you can change your map to another tier 6 or 7 map or even tier 5 map to have a higher fame farming potential I've seen so many guides about fame farming and many of YouTubers tell you to just look for upgraded mobs in open world, but I disagree with that, just go for any any mob you see in the map and if you just want to see that if that works, oh yeah for sure at the end of the video you will see the results
One of my major errors in this challenge was I just ran out of my food and I forgot to bring one more food with myself so I just made a big mistake uh, omelets will make you uh, clear more mobs faster uh, it will make you heal faster and that's it yeah I don't have nothing to say yeah okay well, uh, goodbye Lately, I've just started to change the schedule of my uploading and maybe a minor change in just my editing style and I just added my voice to my videos and I'm trying to be more active on YouTube and make more guides for you guys uh, so I just need your feedback for my new type of videos for sure I will be glad if you guys just uh, in discord or I don't know in the comment section below tell me uh, what type of videos mostly you like and what type of my videos is your favorite Corrupted Dungeon I don't know maybe Mist or guys like this uh, in different uh, aspects maybe I can make some guys about static dungeons about corrupted dungeons about basics of PvP and etc just tell me what you need and what do you like about my channel more so I can just make better and better videos Our giveaway winners from our last videos will be, and this video for sure, will be announced in my next video. Okay guys, now that you've watched the results with my build and that was great. The loot, the fame, uh, they were all great. So I'm here to discuss my build and that's not my build but yeah, the build I used. Uh, so let's talk about my build. Nature staff for Q, second spell for W, first spell and third passive. 
Mage Rope, third spell, first passive, Mage Cow, third spell, first spell, first passive, I'm sorry, the Scholar Sandal, second spell, second passive, Crypto Candle for sure, because of the damage, Dead for Cape, Omelets, and in this potion for some gankers and amounts for sure yeah and for sure a bag because some sometimes the loots are great from mobs so uh, just be sure to bring a bag with yourself and uh, the combo is like this you just dismount use your Q three times you can use it uh, like this wait for the time that this one goes away then use it but uh, most of the time if you bring uh, enough IP like 1100 like I did uh, you don't need to do that because the damage is great like this and then this and your cow for sure you can use your heal too uh, if your if the enemies have uh, thorn growth on them uh, the torn growth stacks on them uh, Then you use your E in the vicinity of them. You will damage them too as you can see enemy any enemies hit with three or more torn charges active on them will be rooted and Will be damaged and that's it. Thank you for watching this video and do not forget to leave a like and subscribe and Participate in the giveaway. Good luck